Galapagos National Park. 1,000 kilometers west of the coast of Ecuador and with an area of about 8,000 square kilometers, we find the Galapagos Islands. This archipelago of volcanic origin is made up of eight greater islands, six smaller islands, and endless smaller reefs and rock formations. Discovered by the Spanish Fray Tomás de Berlanga in 1535, Galapagos has in the figure of the English scientist Charles Darwin one of its most renowned visitors. The five weeks that he stayed in the archipelago were enough for him to lay the foundations of his famous work on the origin of the species. The landscape, steep and abrupt, characterizes the Galapagos Islands, who owe their name to the giant turtles that populate them. These turtles are the largest in the world. Fifteen subspecies of giant turtles existed in Galapagos, one in each different island. At the moment, only eleven of these subspecies survive. In the island of Santa Cruz, we can find the Charles Darwin Research Station where the specialized park guides will show the origin, evolution, and location of the island to visitors. The island hosts the Land Turtles Breeding Center, where newborn turtles are tagged with a unique number and a colored tag indicating their species and, therefore, the island they are destined to restock. These animals can weigh more than 400 kilograms and it is estimated that the longest lived amongst them are over 170 years old at this time. Numerous birds cross these skies and fish in their waters. 28 bird species are endemic of the islands. In Galapagos, every minute is a gift, and a surprise awaits you around each corner. Always accompanied by a national park guide, the visitor will be able to learn and to enjoy the incredible biodiversity that the archipelago has to offer. These guides, who are highly specialized, are selected by the Natural Park General Management, considered as the last hidden paradise of the planet. The named enchanted islands count on an exclusive patrimony of 1,900 species. In land visits, it is easy to find blue-footed bobbies as well as flightless cormorants, wingless and always in couples. And the frigates with their peculiar social order. Even the small penguin of Galapagos, this peculiar marine bird is amongst the smallest of penguins. Sometimes it is possible to snorkel near them. Equally interesting are the marine iguanas and their cousins, the terrestrial iguanas, both endemic species of the Galapagos. In the land excursions, we will be able to make interesting visits to the lava tunnels that sometimes are more than one kilometer long. The volcanic craters, the green vegetation, the enormous lava depressions, 
often mistaken by craters, and no doubt the waters that surround these coasts are only some of the reasons that every year attracts thousands of people to this destiny. Diving, the jewel of the islands, demands from the diver a high level of training and skills due to the currents, depth and characteristics of the dive spots. Galapagos represents the origin the present and the future. This wild world with a constant life cycle is also in a constant fight for survival, a legacy that we are forced to conserve. 